Hi everyone and welcome back. Um, I wanted to make this update on what I've been doing with the uh, server rack. I, a few days ago bought a, another 6U rack. Uh, one of my kind of home lab mis mistakes is I didn't buy a bigger rack to begin with. Uh, I went for a short rack thinking that that would be fine. And I, as is the way in home labs, you think, well, actually, I could do this, and then actually, maybe that would run better. And then you slowly kind of upgrade, and you think, yeah, I wish I'd have just bought a bigger rack, because uh, there's always something that you want to fill it with. So, but although I'm impressed with the company, it's just this rack, I just want to warn you about it, just in case you uh, think about getting it. Just some kind of, not review, but just some warnings about it. Um, so this is the 6U rack. It's uh, made by a company called Link Linkcom Linkcom UK. Um, they make this rack as well. So I thought actually I'll go with the same company. The build quality is fantastic. This one I had to build myself. I had to build that one myself. Uh, and this one came pre-built, but the glass door on the front you had to build together. And that's the bit that I'm not happy with really at all about this rack. Um, so these are the mounting brackets that you have to put on a piece of glass and the glass is down there. This, These screw holes, they don't fit very well. So you can see that these screws are at the tightest that they can go but they just don't fit very well. They're just not good screws for this, um, for piercing through that metal and then clamping the glass. So when I put the glass on, I'm glad none of my kids were in here, that fell down straight on the floor and, and has chipped a bit of it at the top, just along the top edge. You might not see it, but it's uh, just gone a bit funky here. So I'm not impressed with that gla glass door because it's just not built. The other the other one that I've got uh, is perfect. This one's fine because it's it's got a metal, um, a metal frame. Uh, build quality, like I said, is excellent. So I think I'm just going to have to use this without the uh, without the front. Uh, this will give me oh, about 40 U, I think, of, of space. Um, there's still a lot of tidying up with cables and things like that to go. But I've got some servers and switches and things down here that I would like to go in this rack. This is the Super Micro that I want to go in. This is the Dell uh, R210, and then a custom built server, and then a uh, PFSense box, a gigabit, but I might run Proxmox on it because it's an i5 and with 16 gigs of RAM. So, you know, there's a few options there. And now I'll just kind of get on to the main thing that I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, a couple of months ago, I was so miffed at the internet options that I took out a second contract for VDSL. Um, at this house, so that means I've got Talk Talk and BT. Uh, I was going to load balance them and kind of or trunk the connections together, which is much more difficult than you would think. Um, it, it involves a third party server, usually cloud hosted, sending you a connection to that server, and then the trunked connection comes back uh, through one line technically. That, that's how you would do it, but it's much more difficult. There are things to do it but it was just a pain in the ass so I contacted my local MP um, where I live it's on an island um, it's a lovely lovely island uh, I was born here I uh, grew up here and just love it because it's an island it has certain challenges when it comes to things like fiber and uh, it just 4g signal in, in, in general it's it's not great Thankfully, this letter, and I went to see my MP, um, Simon Fell, and he was really, really good. He He's part of a rural commission thing um, for internet, so that helped out perfect. And then I got a letter back. No, we got a survey sent out from this uh, conversation. He sent a survey out to everyone. 90% of people uh, filled it out and sent it back to say that the internet just wasn't up to standard. Uh, from that initial survey, he must have contacted quite a few companies and the company, I'll put them on screen now, the company that he went for um, 
specialise in this type of install where they don't want to rip up all the roads. What they do is they have a point to point connection from another fibre uh, satellite technically that sends it over. It might be say, I don't know, fast, like ridiculously fast. Then that connection from the satellite goes to different uh, wireless receivers like access points uh, that create a mesh network in the area. I've, I've seen a couple of the YouTube videos of the installs. It's a clever um, way of doing it. It means you don't have to rip up roads. You can get it done day quick because these are just attached to lampposts. Um, and the speeds are close to gigabit. So this will be really, really a game changer in terms of self-hosting because for me personally I do uh, my own business website I have a new website that I've just launched which is homelabber.co.uk uh, I'm still doing the build process with uh, Ghost uh, so that, that'll be fully launched soon but the domain there you can check it out I'm kind of going for the tech tutorials and things like that so that's all in, in the process but because I self-host I need that fast connection to host services and websites and just different things for other businesses as well um, you know and uh, virtual machines because I do a lot of uh, kind of repairs and stuff for people where I need, actually need a virtual machine to test a hard drive that might have malware on it or things like that so I have a lot of a lot of needs that I need a fast internet connection for and I'm, I was really really over the moon that uh, this is going to happen, the plans have been written, and uh, to be the start of it, to be the person who started that process. So if you're in the same predicament, it might be worth going to see your MP. Um, just that extra effort to go kind of right to the MP, to meet them up in person, explain the situation, you know, it, it gets stuff done. And if you've got an MP or um, a council member or someone like that, like like what we have here, uh, that's great, you know, you, you can see that progress and people benefit from it you know just that extra effort people benefit from it with fast connections and um, you know more pro productivity and things like that so it, it's a great result and I'll keep you posted about the install and how that goes um, and I'm not too sure what's gonna happen with my BT connection because I'm technically still in a contract with them and my um, talk talk connection I'm still in a contract so I need to figure out when that ends if I can just buy out and switch uh, but that would be an interesting process along the way uh, so for now I'm going to pack all these servers into into this uh, which will be fun I, I, I'm thinking about just setting up a, a time-lapse camera uh, and just letting that time-lapse and doing the install I think it'd be funny to do a time-lapse of me tidying because this place just gets so messy so quick um, but you know it's it's still fun it's still fun that's part of a home lab so yep yeah, Alex signing out and I'll see you all very soon Co computing on the mic we gonna take flight from the ground up we make dreams come true home that's rising with every screw from processors to motherboard